Good evening. A plane full of local veterans has now safely made it to its destination in Washington, D.C. On board, not just local war heroes, but the now's Danielle Kern camp. She joins us now with a look at what's in store for our local veterans over the next few days. Good evening. That's right. The sun is setting here in Washington, D.C. and these 16 World War II, Vietnam and Korean War veterans are finishing up dinner here behind me. We stopped at Mission Barbecue is actually our first stop. It's already been an emotional day for these vets here on Honor Flight number 38 and we are only getting started. We took off from Meadows Field around 6 o'clock this morning and these men received a very warm welcome at our first stop in Denver. Many of them told me they didn't expect this. We then flew to Baltimore where the fire department even greeted us with water cannons and our veterans got another warm welcome from hundreds of people in the airport. One veteran told me the only way to describe this trip so far is overwhelming. I did not expect any of this today. I'm touched, I'm pleased, I'm honored, uh, I'm thrilled. I did not expect all of this. Tomorrow we head to the World War II, Navy, Vietnam, Korean War memorials, among many others. It's going to be a long, emotional, but very rewarding day for these veterans. We'll, of course, bring you full coverage first on our social media platforms and mobile and tablet apps, and, of course, right here on 23ABC. In Washington, D.C., Danielle Kernkamp, 23ABC, connecting you.